Elon Levy, a spokesperson for the Israeli government. Uh, Mr. Levy, thank you very much for being here. Let, let's start with that. We have seen these stepped up protests in Israel. These families want action. They want you and the government and the prime minister to make a deal and free some of these hostages. What can you tell us to update us on how that is going? They are absolutely right to demand the immediate safe return of those hostages. The whole of Israeli society is worried sick. 240 people, including over 30 children, including 10 toddlers who have been held incommunicado in the Gaza Strip by the terrorists who murdered their way through southern Israel on October 7th. We hope to bring them back. That's what we're working to do. And our strategy at the moment is to continue putting pressure on Hamas to release our hostages. Of course, I can't comment on sensitive negotiations. You'll understand human lives are at stake, but we're doing everything that we can, and hopefully we will have good news. Let me ask you this. How, how serious, uh, in terms of the thought of striking Iran more directly in order to get some movement here, in order to get Iran to pressure these proxies to do what you want them to do, will they do that if they don't feel that they are really threatened at all in terms of their country and its defenses? We're at a very dangerous moment right now where Iran's proxies are clearly trying to escalate this conflict, and we're focusing on the Gaza mm -hmm. Strip. We're focusing on that campaign to destroy Hamas in response to the October 7th massacre, to make sure that the Gaza Strip can never be a security threat to Israel again. And so we're trying to contain it and stop it from escalating. We're trying to stop the situation in Lebanon from getting out of control. Hezbollah has fired over a 1,000 munitions at Israel in the last month since the beginning of the war with Hamas. Our message to Hezbollah has been clear. If it drags us into a full-scale war, we're ready to fight, we're ready to win. It will be making the mistake of its lifetime. So we're seeing definitely attempts to try to escalate the situation on Israel's borders. I'll remind you, a quarter of a million internally displaced persons in Israel. We've evacuated the whole region uh, near the border uh, with Lebanon because it's so dangerous, but we're focusing on destroying the monsters who perpetrated the October 7th massacre. We don't want to fight on two fronts at once. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see um, what happens here. Thank you very much, Elon Levy. Mm -hmm. Good to have you here, sir.